All right, y'all, so today is very exciting because my wedding shoes are finally here. Um, I was going back and forth between whether or not I wanted something that was like a little more luxurious as far as like lace and diamonds and things like that, or if I wanted to go with something that was a, little, a bit more chic um, in the sense of like, you know, satin or low heel, um, different things like that. And I think ultimately, what helped my decision was that I didn't want my shoe to really take away from my dress. I wanted it to complement it, um, but also I also wanted something that was comfortable and that is something I'm really big on. Like I love the way things look, I love fashion, I love aesthetics, I love all of those things, but I'm also big on it being comfortable. Um, and your wedding day is a day that we are in our shoes all day. And I haven't experienced that day just yet, but I'm sure other brides can attest to. Maybe your feet start hurting by the end of the night. You have to do all of these different dances with your husband, with your dad if you're doing that, or your mom if you're doing that. Um, and so I wanted to just come on and just showcase my shoes and just kind of see. So we are doing this together. Today I have my scissors here. I have my box here that was dropped off by FedEx. And so let's get started. We have um to just cut open this box which we'll see y'all these shoes got here like i don't know two weeks ago and i have yet to open them and it's because i wanted to do this video and i just had to like find some time to do it um and so i figured honestly i was never gonna find time unless i just made time and so this is me making time today to do this so paper here and all right y'all so I got my shoes from Nine West these were $95 which is great because I am a bride on a budget and I think I actually ended up getting them for about $71 and some change after tax and shipping because I found a coupon code so shout out to all the girlies who search for coupon codes because we don't really have to pay full price for things, y'all. And if you do some research, there's always a coupon code out there to save you a little bit of coins. And in this case, from 95 before taxes to 71 after taxes, I saved about $20 and probably a little bit more. Okay. They're like the perfect color. Oh, okay. All right, so as y'all can see, I decided to go with something that was a little more chic. Something that was a little more chic. So these shoes are all satin. They're an ivory color. And I love that I got a shoe that has a bow on the back because it brings that extra flair for brides. I love a bow. And it has a good heel on it as well, y'all. Like, this is comfortable. This is something that I could definitely see myself in all night. But also just like, still very chic and cute. So, this is the bow on the back. And I feel like this shoe is perfect, y'all, because it won't take away from my dress. Like, it's just enough that still it's like, okay, it's cute. It's giving a little something, but, like, it's not too much, you know? And I could also wear this shoe again, right? Like, definitely could wear this shoe again. So, I'm going to try these on because I haven't even tried them on yet. And I'll show y'all what they look like on my feet. Oh my gosh, so for the last 20 minutes, y'all, I just went on a mini panic attack, and ew, thank you, Lord, is all I have to say, because I almost had to get a new shoe, like an entirely new shoe, and I need them by next Wednesday for my fitting. So, yeah, anyway, let me rewind so y'all can see what just happened. I'm gonna try these on because I haven't even tried them on yet. So, 
So for some reason, these shoes, um, they keep coming up. Like when I walk, the backs of them keep coming up, which when I ordered these shoes, I don't remember them. Like I thought these shoes would go around my ankle, but apparently not. Um, and this isn't gonna work. And I have my dress fitting on Wednesday, so I need a shoe like ASAP. Like this isn't gonna work. And this is what happens when you wait to try on your shoes when they were here two, three weeks ago. Y'all, this is when the panic started to set in. I started texting my sister, my fiance, telling them like, what is going on? These shoes aren't working. I got on the internet, went to different websites like Lulu's, started putting my name on the wait list for shoes, y'all. I just didn't know what else to do. Okay, y'all, so I am scouring the internet right now. Texting my fiance, texting my sister, because I need them to help me find a new shoe. And every shoe that I'm looking at that I'm actually like loving, they don't have my size. So I've added myself to the wait list for three of these shoes. And again, I need these shoes next Wednesday. So something is not right one because I normally do not order shoes that do not cover my ankle because I have really small, not feet, but I guess I have small ankles. So they tend to come in and out of shoes when I walk sometimes. So I would have gotten something I feel like was a bit more secure. So something's not right. So I'll be back. So this is me pretty much going back to the Nine West website to look at that shoe. And y'all, it's the angle on that shoe. Your girl, today is just not my day because I just went back to the Nine West website because I knew that I wouldn't have ordered a shoe that I could not strap around my ankle. In this picture, this shoe is strapped around the ankle. So, either one or two things have, have happened. Either A, I don't know how to put on these shoes correctly, or B, I have a pair of shoes that are faulty. So we're gonna try this again, and I think I may need to untie the bow. All right, so. Who knew that a shoe could give you a run for your money? So y'all see how the front of the shoe has no tie whatsoever, according to the website. None. So, because your girl, it's the little things. It's the little things. Overthinking. Okay, so without that bow being tied to the back, this is what the shoe looks like. So, we're gonna try this again, okay? We're gonna try this again. So this is me pretty much, y'all, trying on this shoe and I just cannot believe that I did not untie that bow. Like, that is just such a rookie brat mistake. And yeah, I'm a little embarrassed, but the shoe fits so good, y'all. Like, look at this. Yeah, this is nuts, y'all. This is nuts. The shoe is perfect now. Like, look at this. I gotta figure out how to tie it a little bit better, but you see that bow on the back here. I now have support in my ankle area so that the shoe is not flopping off. All right, let's do the other one now and see what happens. So what did we learn here today? One, take your time. Two, if you think you ordered it wrong, you probably didn't. Go back, look at the product, make sure you're putting them on correctly. And three, don't wait to the last minute to try on your wedding shoes because if you do, it may be too late and then you end up in a panic and then all sorts of other things happen. So. I'm happy, very happy, because I actually really love these shoes. And the thought of having to find something else was not even in my thoughts, right? Um, it took me a long time to even decide on these shoes. And I'm just happy. I'm so, so happy. Thanks for coming on this whirlwind of an unboxing with me today, y'all. It did not go at all how I expected or planned for it to go. But I am happy and excited that my shoes fit that I got them at a really good price and that I can wear them again. And so, see y'all next time.